All right, guys, Magnaflow 19.562 installed on this 2023 Ford F-150. Now, this is not an instructional video, and this is absolutely not a how-to, but you can maybe think of it like a supplement to the instructions, which, well, let's take a look at that. I mean, I guess they're okay. You're better off printing these off of your own computer. Just go to Magnaflow's website, check it out. It's in color on their website. These instructions, though, look like they're printed off of a fax machine from, like, the early 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let me dive into what I'm getting into here. So first things first, if you're watching this, you may be doing some research and you're wondering after you've crawled underneath your truck, all of the brake line stuff that's going on over there, your axle vent, there's plenty of room. So don't worry about it hitting anything. It's not gonna burn anything. There's nothing like that in the way whatsoever. You are good to go, so don't sweat that. I was checking that out myself and I was wondering, but no, there's plenty of room. Don't worry about that. So guys, as you very well know, these trucks come with a single-sided exhaust. To put in a dual, you got to put in hangers. There's not a really good shot of the hangers being installed, so I wanted to show you all that. Hanger is right here. I painted mine black, but it's right here are the holes that you're looking for. They're not up over here, around, or whatever. They are basically, if you're looking at the trailer hitch and you move over it's the holes they're basically the eyelet holes that are in the trailer hitch further up on where it welds to the frame i guess you'd call that the frame support that's where they are while we're up underneath here let me give you guys an idea for clearances everything looks good nice and tight clean kit all the way through Here's some more shots of that exhaust, the mid pipe. It does utilize the factory resonator. Make sure you got your little drip drip holes. I have fired it up. It is quiet. A little bit more quiet than I had expected. I know that it'll get a little bit louder in the future. However, the cool thing about this is that there are resonator delete kits out there that'll make this a little bit louder if that's what you're going for let's see if there's any other tips i can think of you will need to loosen the factory rezo pipe quite a bit i actually ended up just removing mine because the factory muffler is keyed into the pipe into that rezo pipe so it's, it's too much of a pain to try to flip it. And with only one person working on it, it was far and away easier to just unbolt the entire system. One other thing. Where the exhaust mount back here is no longer used, it does use the factory mid mount and it does use that factory further forward mount that we were just seeing earlier. But there you go, guys. Hopefully that helps you out. Couple of tips, couple of tricks. It's a good looking exhaust. I'm gonna throw the spare tire back up in here, but this is what it will look like. It really does look good with the all black pipes. Nice and subtle. Very cool. Anyway, post up your comments. Let me know if that helped you. I'm gonna get back to work.